Now, I think I read that you play as four different characters in this game. So far, we've met three. We're going back to the FBI agent. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. I thought he was gonna like start spying on people. later I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon okay oh captain agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here Jaden of course we've been expecting you I'm in a bit of a hurry do you mind tagging along we can talk as we walk yeah of course I wanted to introduce myself before getting started but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time no no it's fine I just have to get to the press conference we have them every day now Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Oh boy. Always love the relationship between the FBI and their and the local cops. I should get Perry's assistance to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Strange character, Captain Perry. He seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation 
should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. You sound so bored. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? You're not even looking at the guy. The origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. Is that a question? I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? Not a... Uh, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that yep. true? Yep. Hey, what's up? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. Well, I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? Apparently, this vending machine is not sufficient. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Case is front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. Oh, there's a water cooler. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Water cooler. Get yourself a drink, my guy. Give me a glug. No glug. Worst water cooler ever. Collection for Larry's promotion present. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah, sure, why not? 
congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. This looks like an interrogation room that they threw a desk into. <laughs> okay, time to work. Wow, more like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Step one, change the office. Let's see, do I want nature, water, that clouds, or space? I mean, I'm a sucker for water, so we're gonna go with water. Interesting. I guess I can see what they are. Oh, that's cool. Space! Oh, this is just Mars. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe not Mars. Okay, nature. A lot of effort went into this, I see. But why? <laughs> What's the purpose? Just to show how cool Ari is? Right, I actually think the cloud one was the coolest one. We're going to go with this. Now what? Uh, let's look at the files. All right, let's look at the killer, the, vi victims the victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later, drowned in rainwater. Okay, open. Are we going to get any more specific information? No? Okay. Uh, analyze. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Geo-analyze. K-1 
killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Okay. We, now let's take a look at the modus operandi. Operandi? I don't know the proper pronunciation of this word. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned, over 100 suspects interrogated, not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. I mean, you could do some research to try and figure out about orchids. Uh, see if where the orchids came from. That would be a lead, wouldn't it? If they're being bought from some... If they're being bought from some kind of, like, florist, or if he's growing them himself. Okay, so we have the tire tracks. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. You're getting a lot of information about that from tire tracks. Okay. Why do the orchid last? So let's look at the origami. Is it always the same one? Prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Okay. Now for the orchid. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. I guess uh, I guess that gets rid of that lead now, doesn't it? Well, it was a good idea, if you ask me. Okay. Map. Okay, we're, we got to hold down the map. All right, that's that. Here we go again. I ready to go wash my face. You okay, my guy? Take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Crypto? No. Is he a drug addict? Is he in withdrawal? Is everything all right, sir? You are you just walking away?
There's Ethan. Reporting your missing son, I see. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Uh, when it started to rain, I don't know. 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. It was, like, beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. They were green? Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park at school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I was searching. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Yes. Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Yep. My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. And you've asked her? That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Well... something no nothing yet but they're gonna keep looking through the night do they do they think it's the origami killer it, it, it's still too early to say but it is a possibility is she gonna get mad at him what happened Ethan yep I meant to say. 